So Booleans are simply true or false values, as we've already briefly discussed. Now, when you're programming, you'll often need to work out if something is true or false in order to change the direction of your code using if statements, which we will cover later. For now, what we'll do is we'll define out a Boolean value and we'll have a quick peek at an if statement to see how this works. So uh, the two Boolean values, as we've already seen, are true and false, simple as that. So let's say we were uploading a file. Maybe we were uploading a picture to a website. We're gonna say something like file is uploaded. And again, we're gonna use our assignment operator, but this time we're gonna assign either a true or a false value into here. So we can have true or false, simple as that. Okay, so now what we can do in practice is use an if statement to check if this value is true or check if it's false and then run some code based on that check. So let's create an if statement. To do this, we say if, and then in brackets, we have something called a condition. Now this can be one value. It doesn't really have to be a variable. It doesn't have to be uh, some kind of comparison, but for now we'll keep it really simple. So after this, we have two curly braces. So we have an opening curly brace and a closing curly brace. And then in here, we call this a block. This is a block of code that you want to run when this condition evaluates to true. Now, basically what that means is whatever we put in here, if it ends up being true, then we run the block of code. So let's uh, define out what we want to output here. We're gonna say your file was uploaded like so. And basically into here, if I was to, for example, just put false in there, think about this. False doesn't evaluate to true because it's false. So if we head over to the browser, we don't see anything. However, if I was to hard code true into here, we know that true does evaluate to true and therefore we see that string. Okay, so rather than actually just placing true or false values in here, which doesn't always make sense, we're gonna say if file is uploaded or file was uploaded. That makes a lot more sense. We have a value stored in here and we're basically placing that value into there. So let's give that a refresh and we know that that's the case because this is true. If we set this to false, go ahead and refresh, we know that we don't see anything. So if statements get a little bit more complicated than this, uh, when we're checking if something is true or false, or we're putting some kind of uh, comparison in here to check. Uh, now, just as a word of warning, the number one can be true. So if I was to set file uploaded to one, you'll see that that works. And if I was to set file uploaded to zero, notice that that doesn't work. Now, what happens if I set this to minus one? It still works. So what is going on here? And we'll be discussing this a bit more later. We'll see uh, the probably the better way to go ahead and define a condition out in here. But for now, that should make sense in terms of Booleans uh, and actually how we go ahead and use them. Now, the key question is, where do Booleans actually come from? For example, if we are actually uploading a file, how do we know if it has uploaded or not? Now, this is kind of beyond the scope of this video, uh, but what will happen is when you use things like functions in PHP, what will happen is you'll get returned a value. So let's say we had some kind of function to upload a file like so. This is how we would call a function and we'll be looking at functions later. This might return a value. So we might say file is uploaded. We may have a function that we've created to upload a file. This would return to us a true or a false value, then we could use it. So obviously uh, hard coding false or true in here just doesn't make sense. Now let's just take a look at a very quick example of a function within PHP that does return a true or a false value. And this is where something called var dump comes in. So let's take a look at this slowly. If it doesn't make sense, again, we're going to be covering this in complete detail later on. So let's use a function called is int. This is a built-in PHP function that allows us to pass in a value and this will return true or false if the thing that we've passed in is an integer. Now in this case, we know that one is an integer. So let's just uh, assign this to a value. So let's just say is int. You'd obviously call it something a little bit better than that. And let's go ahead and create a quick if statement here to say if is int then we want to say that 
is an integer. So this function will return true or false. We put it into an if statement and we change the direction of our code. We run a block if that's the case. So let's go over, give that a refresh and it says that is an integer. Okay, so what about if I were to pass in a string here? That's not an integer, we know it's a string and therefore we don't see that block of code run. Now, if you were wanting to just check this value and not have to create an if statement because that can be a little bit annoying, we can get rid of all of this and we can actually wrap the return value of this function in something called var dump. So what we're doing is we're taking this value here, we're placing it inside of var dump. What that's going to do is it's going to dump out a variable. Because we can't echo true or false values, we just won't see anything. Var dump will actually tell us what type of var variable this is. So let's go ahead, give this a refresh, and you can see we have bool. As I said, sometimes a boolean is uh, called a bool, and we see false. If I were to change this to one, we see true. So if you are stuck at any point, var dump is very, very useful. And we are going to be using this throughout the series when we're working on things because uh, it just gives us a kind of insight into the kind of values that we're working with. Because we've done this, we know that this returns a true or a false value. And therefore, if we wanted, like we've already seen, we could create an if statement. So that is pretty much it for Booleans.